Hey, this is Zach King with a Motion 4 tutorial. I got a flood of emails today after my animating a map in motion tutorial came out, and people were wondering, you know, how did you do the gradient? How did you lay out and make it look really nice? I'm also going to add one other thing that I didn't add to the map, which actually, now that I think about it, would be cool. We can start at a beginning red dot for the begin point of the journey and then end point of the journey. And so how we can do that is just come up to your shapes, select the circle. I'm going to go ahead and just guess it was around here in Florence Avenue. That's where it was right here. If you hold down shift, it'll actually stay nice and symmetrical circle. So go ahead and change this fill to the red color I had saved here. If you didn't save your color, you can use the eyeglass tool to actually get your color. Okay, so I've got that little red starting dot. And I'm also going to give that a little drop shadow here. Okay, so that's the start point. I'm going to copy and paste this to here, which is the end point. And if we play it, it should come out of there. And sure enough, I can just move this dot a little bit over right there. Okay, so that's how I would do that make that look a little better. Also this drop shadow is a little strange so we can select both. We can change the drop shadow under properties, drop shadow. I'm going to turn the opacity down. We don't need it that high. Okay, so how I did the gradients here, let me show you. First of all, the map actually has a drop shadow behind it which makes it pop out from these two color bars, the columns on the side. And I have it at 260 degrees, so 260 degrees, so that it's coming all the way around here and I also pulled up the blur to 37 and if you pull up the blur it always expands it so the drop shadow will usually go around the whole object that you're adding a drop shadow to. Now what I did for the columns to actually create a gradient let me go ahead and turn off this group I'll create a new group here where I'll create a gradient from scratch just like the one you saw okay so if I go to shape I can change this from color for the fill mode to gradient. Okay, and now I'm going to pull this down and we're going to change the start point. Grab the color wheel and I'm going to change this to lighter blue on top. And I'm going to save this color. There's one of the tips you want to save that color you use. For the next one, use the same color but actually pull down the darkness. I pulled it down quite a bit. But what you do is right click on it and go to edit gradient pull this down so you can be a smoother transition pull this up a little bit so there you get a nice gradient and then I'm going to copy and paste this over there and then drag the map right here with its own drop shadow so there's a few questions answered for you I hope that clears up things if you have any suggestions for tutorials for motion let me know and I'm gonna post those here on YouTube and my website finalcutking.com I'm Zach King and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. And subscribe if you like these videos.